Hi, this tutorial will go through synchronizing elements of your Scrivener project with index card on the iPad. Index card projects consist of a single stack of cards that can be moved around on a cork board. Because the index card app expects a flat list of cards, it is not possible to sync the entire structure of a Scrivener project, as these will most likely contain documents inside folders that are several levels deep. For this reason, the collections feature in Scrivener is used to sync with index card. Collections allow you to maintain different flat lists of any documents in a Scrivener project. To create a collection, first select the documents that you wish to take to index card in the binder. Then click on the collections icon in the toolbar to reveal the collections pane, if it is not already visible, and click on the add collection button. A new collection will be created containing the documents you selected. You can rename the collection to anything you like, but something meaningful, such as index card sync, might be a good idea. You can change the colour of the collection by double clicking on the colour chip in its tab when the collection is active. You can even add other documents to your collection by just dragging them from the binder onto the collection tab. The next step is to create a file in our Dropbox folder that index card will be able to read. Go to File, Sync, with index card for iPad. Choose the collection you created in the first step from the collection pop-up button and then click on Create or Update Index Card File. The Save As panel will appear and it should automatically point to the index card folder inside your Dropbox folder. Index card creates the index card subfolder in Dropbox whenever you sync, so if you haven't saved any files from index card yet, it may not exist. If it doesn't, create it yourself, navigate to your Dropbox folder, click on New Folder and name the new folder Index Card without any space. Ensure that the .index card file is named and click on Save. You are now ready to fire up your iPad and edit your index cards on the go. To open the .index card file on your iPad, open the Dropbox app and navigate to the file you saved. Select the .index card file so that it opens in the Dropbox preview pane. Click on the Open In button in the top right hand corner of Dropbox. You will be given the option of opening the file in an index card. Click on an index card to open the project in the index card app. You should now be presented with the documents from your Scrivener collection as index cards on index card's own corkboard. You can move the cards around, edit their titles and synopses, and create new cards if you wanted, just as you would in any index card project. When you get back to your computer, you'll want to update your Scrivener project with the changes you have made in index card. To do this, you'll first need to update the .index card file in your Dropbox index card folder. Click on the send button in the top right of the header bar in index card and select share via Dropbox from the list that appears. When prompted, choose the index card file format. Now, back in Scrivener, go to file, sync with index card for iPad again. The collection we chose to sync to should already be selected for us in the pop-up button. This time, choose Update Collection from Index Card File because we want to update our project with the changes we made in Index Card. The standard open panel will appear and the .index card file that you edited should already be selected for you. If not, select it, then click Open. The collection in your Scrivener project should immediately be updated to reflect the changes you made on your iPad. The card order will be changed if you move things around, the titles and synopses of any documents you edited will be updated, and any new cards you created will appear as new documents in the collection. Note that if you deleted any index cards in index card on the iPad, they will be removed from the collection in Scrivener, but will not be deleted from the binder. If you spent a lot of time on your iPad rearranging the cards and finding their most effective order, at some point you will want to take that arrangement to the binder rather than having it sectioned off in a collection. This is easy to do. With the collection visible, select all of the documents in the collection list, then either control click and select move to from the contextual menu that appears, or simply drag the selected documents onto the binder tab in the collections pane and hold them there. After a second, the collections list will disappear to be replaced by the binder, and you can drag and drop the documents wherever you want to place them. Note that the collections remain unaffected and continues to exist separately. That concludes our index card app tutorial. I hope that you find the workflow useful. Thanks for watching.